Hey, what do you figure, guys? So I was fortunate enough to have the uh, fight doctor come visit me this fall. And uh, when he came, he brought me a bit of stuff to play with, to work with, to uh, prepare for him and I. So what he brought was a whack of e-scrap. Look at this big bag of chips. Ooh. I need to give a shout out too to uh, Dirt Fishing Canada. Thanks to him, I'm using, uh, I have a camera to uh, take this video with. So I'm going to be uh, investing in a new camera soon enough, hopefully. Uh, finances are extremely tight right now. So, uh, we got this huge bag of uh, uh, chips. Memory chips. Ugh. Just a big bag of chips. And a second huge, huge bag of chips. We're talking, oh, between these two chip bags of chips, probably 20 pounds. So I got to uh, incinerate them. And I'll show you that process of the incineration. Oh. But we're gonna start with the, uh, the fingers, the gold fingers. So when he dropped it off, all this scrap, there was, uh, a big baggie like this that he had already trimmed. Uh, and then he dropped off this as well. This was a full, oh my goodness, look at this. We're talking probably nine inches deep. Eight and a half, nine inches deep. All ram sticks. And I had to trim the fingers off of all of them. It was a slow process, but it was all done. Uh, so much so that with the uh, the ram sticks that are in here and the ram sticks that he already had given me there was just too much to fit into one of these baggies so i wound up and i was worried about having uh, i wanted to maximize the uh, the space or the uh, surface area of the sticks let me open this up here so i took all the ram stick fingers and then i trimmed them even more so they come off in their strips they're about as long as your pinky finger little strips about that and I trimmed them up to about a, a third of that I just trimmed them all down much smaller so they all fit into one bag and so they can fit better into my bucket which I manufactured so we're going to get a starting weight let me close this back up of all these ram sticks I'm going to show you another video too when I depopulate the uh, how to easily, quickly depopulate the uh, chipboards there, or the, the memory st RAM sticks of the uh, flat decks, flat chips. Making a heat bath. Okay. Let's turn on the scale. This is in grams. So we'll be weighing it up in grams. I'll set the baggie on there. We have zero. Let's take that off. Tear. Put the baggie back on. Stay still. Is it all on? Yeah, it's all on. Okay. Nope, we're back. Wouldn't this mean? Chair. One thousand six hundred and forty. Dang refreshing. Yep, one thousand six hundred and forty grams. So we'll take about two grams off for the bag. So 1,638 grams. Holy crap, that's a lot of grams. This thing is, oh, yeah, it's heavy. There's a lot of gold to be had. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those. We're gonna make our concoction. I'm gonna use a gallon or a uh, four liter jug of uh, vinegar. To that, I'm going to add a cup of salt. 
To that, I'm going to add one full bottle of hydrogen peroxide. All of that is going to go into that five gallon bucket, which I have drilled a hole into the top of. <clears throat> just a small hole to allow for my uh, aquarium air pump. It's just an air pump to uh, bubble air down into the bottom. I have modified the end of the air hose. What I did was is I melted it and crimped it shut so that it would be airtight. Ensure that the end is airtight. And then I went back for uh, 10 inches. And I just, I don't know if you can see them with this camera. First time using it. But I drilled uh, tiny little holes. About every half inch. All the way along the tube for about 10 inches. So that when you drop it in it's a, a much more refined bubble for a longer area, surface area. So when it sits down at the bottom, it'll coil up like this. I'll put all them gold fingers down and they'll lay on top of that. Once the lid comes up a little higher, ooh, they'll lay on top of that coiled hose down at the bottom and it'll be bubbling away, keeping the water circulating with the hydrogen peroxide, salt and vinegar, which will uh, eat away the under copper of the gold foils. Should take about probably heck probably a week maybe two to get it all off just sitting there bubbling but it's uh, a lot safer of a process than using the hydrochloric and the hydrogen peroxide uh, just safer within the regards of burning yourself scorching your lungs and all the other hazards that could come with working with a, a, a stronger acid like hydrochloric acid okay so I'll get it all put together, I'll add the, the chemicals, and then I will uh, show you again as it's bubbling away and running after it's all set up and placed into the jug. Okay, and then we'll periodically check in on it, and uh, I'll uh, show you a roundup video at the end, which will be a separate video to show you uh, how I how the boards come out cleaned and how the uh, gold foils have all come off and uh, a nice tally of the weight of the gold foils. And then we'll dissolve them into a... Uh, hydrochloric and bleach uh, solution and then we'll precipitate it out with uh, sodium metabisulfite and then we'll probably dissolve that powder which has been uh, precipitated with the sodium metabisulfite a second time just to increase the purity okay that's the game plan so the next phase I'll show you the uh, gold fingers in here bubbling away talk to you again soon